Hi, I'm Jacob Cebulski. Welcome to Rapid Miner Data Mining and Data Visualization. Hi there. In this lesson, we're going to generate some of the standard statistical plots useful in understanding data. In the previous lesson, we calculated some statistics using aggregate function. Um, what if it's not enough to rely on point statistics? Let's simply create um, another path from the multiply function. So we just create another leg of this. So we simply get the data through without any uh, manipulation and aggregation. Let's run it. Now this is the table we've seen before. Um, can we create something like a box plot? Indeed we can. We have a box plot called quartile plot and we're going to plot student results g1, g2, g3. Uh, unfortunately the colors are not explained at the top of my chart. This is a bug in, in my particular software installation. Okay so here we have a box plot which basically shows um, all the important aspects uh, of the statistics we we're trying to generate before. So for G1 we can see um, we have the median value, um, the first and the third quartile, um, we have the minimum and the maximum, and actually those whiskers are not minimum and maximum, they define um, the group or the boundary uh, beyond which we have outliers, the values which are very very far removed from the main group of the values. Um, it actually takes a bit of uh, research to find out how Rapid Miner calculates outliers. Um, for example, in many of the statistical books, you can rely on so-called Tukey's test. That means um, the outliers lie beyond 1.5 distance um, from the interquartile range. Um, I've heard that this is actually the 95% quartile, um, and that's how outliers are defined. But that would be a bit silly because that means we would always have outliers in the data set. So it's still a bit of a mystery as what exactly are outliers, but we can think there are values very, very far removed from the main group of the values of a given attribute. So here's a picture. It actually shows you in a very simple way how the distribution of marks in G1, G2, and G3 differs. Um, in this particular sample. Um, the little dot indicates the average or the mean and you can see um, it's a little bit below the median. Uh, it indicates there is a slightly skewness to the data. And it also shows you that there's outliers indeed, the values, the cases far far removed from the main body uh, in each of the uh, assessment tasks. Um, we can also do a similar box plot um, to analyze the distribution of a single variable values within a number of categories depending on a categorical variable. So we're going to change the plot. It's a quarter color. We use the same value, G3. The color was sex. Now we have as the values of a single variable which is now distributed in two groups depending on whether students are male or female and usually the um, the values are in the order of the values generated from uh, your data sets. So females are first, males are second. Unfortunately we can rely on the color does not appear at the top of the uh, of the chart. So we can see that females on average have lower marks in the final examination than males and not only the median and the means are lower but the whole body from the first quartile to the third quartile is lower. So it's a quick way of assessing the values. We could actually pick another um, 
variable, a guardian. And again, let's look at uh, the order, father, mother, other, father, mother, other. And you can see that when children leave, do not live with their parents, they usually achieve much lower results on the examination in the schools in maths. So here is a uh, quartiles and um, next we look at histograms and other ways of showing uh, distribution of data in rapid manner. Thank you.